Welcome back to Carolina Rut Cuddles. On today's episode, we're going to take the Rancho through some swamp holes. I don't know how well this is going to work. We're going to jump from hole to hole down this and see how far we can get. But she's ready. I've been mudding all day with this thing. She's ready to hit some holes. I hope you all enjoy this. If you ain't already, hit the subscribe button. So let me get the GoPro ready and we're going through here. Well, guys, we found a little mud here. I'm going to try it out. How well is this going to work? Horrible. It looks thick. Oh, oh crap. I should have known better than this. Come on. This tree has just stopped me. I think this is an old root bed. Oh crap, one on side. Ah! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We got this. is not going as well as I thought it would. It didn't look deep when I saw it. Did. Come on, back up, back up. Ooh. Oh, we're on our side now, guys. This is not good. Ugh. I knew better than this. Oh. <sighs> Why did it go sideways? Ugh, my phone's in my pocket. I don't want to get it wet. Oh crap, all the way up to my knees. Ooh, this is cold. Got a little gas leaking. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Come on, go backwards. Uh. Well, let's call my wife. Oh, what? I need to come pull me out. I'm all. I'm just behind the house. Just drive around the dike. What? With the Yamaha? Yeah. Um, are the keys where they're always at? Yep. Well, I got to put the dog down right there. Okay. What happened, I wonder? <sighs> Better cut the gas off. Did water get in the carb? Or did it get in the airbox? Definitely smells like gas. But I flooded it, probably. <sighs> yeah, just stuck out here. <sighs> Ugh. Now I gotta unflood that thing. <clears throat> Women are so slow sometimes, guys. <sighs> One eternity later. Floppy, floppy, floppy. Yay! No idea how much water's in this airbox or whatever it is. I don't know, the way it acted, it didn't really sound like it was running out of air, so probably got water in the car. Which is my fault because I accidentally pulled the thing off. Cause Shana, she's probably, she's so upset right now. She's probably like, did you really make me get out of bed? I swear, oh, hey, Buggy. Hey, Buggy. 
It wasn't that bad when I came in here. It wasn't. It was really not that bad. I'm telling you, it was literally like that. Look behind you. It was literally like that flat veil. Like, literally, it wasn't even over, like, the edge of my boot. And then I got stuck, and I dug it out, and now I'm just sunk. I think, we're just, I think I'm just going to live here. This is my new home. I got it. Oh, let me get up. <sighs> and hit in. Yeah. I'm holding the brake. Keep going. I don't get it's not. That was only a strap. This winch ain't breaking. And right there. Stop. Go out. Well, that's my problem. <laughs> that's the problem. The exhaust was full of mud. Let's see if I, it'll start now. It's fine. We'll do it later. <sighs> it's flooded. <sighs> that's crazy though. The exhaust over there, that thick. Keep going. I never learn my lesson. It makes me want to try harder. Well, there's no uh, water in the no water on there, so that's good. So there's no water on there. That means there's uh, that means there's a little that means there's water in the uh, gasoline. See what happened was, oh, that's my phone. See what happened was, this mud got in there and stopped it. I've never in my life seen that, Jonna. I love you. I love you, Bucky. You are the. Don't touch me. Please. Don't touch me. It ain't on my face, is it? Did my camera clean? Yeah. I love you. Oh, you know the funny thing about all this? I was done recording. I literally had the camera off, and then I was like, I'm gonna go through this hole. I'm gonna cut it off for one second. And I got stuck. I was just riding around because it ain't been ridden in a couple weeks. <laughs> Do you ever regret marrying me? Is it moments like this where you think, I could have been with a good city boy who sits around and watches TV all day? Ugh. Okay, let, I'm gonna go ride a little bit more. Ah, my feet! There's stuff in there. I love you. I love you. guys it looks like what happened was is like you saw all the uh mud caked up on the exhaust it just stopped me dead in my tracks i have i've seen some crazy stuff in my life but i've never seen mud get in the exhaust like that oh come on baby must be some water in the uh Hard too. Oh shoot! <laughs> I never cut the car back on. Come on, baby. Okay, guys. So anybody want doing? I cut the car. I can never get the float exactly like I want, and sometimes it'll leak. Sometimes, most time it won't. So I cut it off every time I uh, cut. Every time I cut the engine off, I cut the gas off. So yeah, that's what just happened. I ran out of gas, which isn't the end of the world. Sometimes you have moments like that where you're like, what's going on? Oh, I cut the gas off. I actually had a buddy get a dark bike. I'm not joking to you for a hundred dollars because he went to go look at it. And when he went to look at it, it wouldn't run. The guy's like, I can't get it. He's like, it was running, now it won't run. And the guy's like, well, I drove four hours to see this thing. And you know what? I, I, I'll drop it from 400 to 100. I'm not screw. I'm not messing with it. The guy got it home. 
He went to go pull it to the walk on because he already had a bunch of parts bikes sitting around. Found out that the, somebody had torn the gas off and there was no gas going to it. And that's why it wouldn't run. So this guy literally got it for $300 cheaper because it won't run it. Hi. You talking about Nutrat? It was auto? Okay. I'm getting hit. Look at that thing. Coming down. Woo! Woo -hoo! Got a little air that time. There used to be a path through here. You kind of see over there, maybe a little bit, some might be glaring, that we went through there once. It was bad, like super bad. This hole right here used to be a nice hole to play in, but we dug it out to get some dirt out of it. And uh, yeah, let's just say it's not uh, it's not for the for the worthy right now. I hope y'all liked last week's video when we went through the woods. I'm hoping to soon clear a lot of this stuff up get us some good paths through there, dig some holes, get us more mud. And hopefully we get a bus go soon. Who knows, I might have been a bus go by the time this video comes out because I'm way ahead right now on video. So whenever, I don't know when this video will get thrown around. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had to get behind the truck because the wind is like crazy today, like super crazy. Yeah, we got it stuck, got some junk in the car. I'm gonna take it apart and fix it again. Kind of getting sick of this 350 car. It's it's so temperamental. Like that's the crappiest car I've ever seen. Like it's factory. It's been rebuilt, and it's so temperamental. Even one piece of trash. But anyways, I hope y'all like this. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I will see y'all in the next one.